Good morning, you guys. I am almost two weeks postpartum, and I thought in this video I could do a little update on how we've been doing, how our family has been adjusting to having two babies. I thought I would start this video now because I'm literally disgusting. This is like the reality of my life right now, which is covered in milk, spit up, sweat. I feel gross. I'm about to get myself together. It's helping a lot because my mother-in-law has Elena. All I have to deal with right now is baby Jonah. He is in his little bouncer right now i'm gonna have him sit here while i take a shower but it's so cute hopefully he doesn't get hungry i literally just fed him so hopefully he's good my assistant emily is coming over for the first time since i gave birth today in about 45 minutes so i'm gonna run through the shower and get myself all together so we can get some computer stuff done and get some stuff done around the house okay shower was cut a little bit short because mr jonah was hungry fed him that took a while and then changed him and now emily's about to be here in literally 10 minutes so i'm gonna do my little skincare routine and brush my teeth <laughs> the baby noises <laughs> just gonna do a little sunscreen Clean and comfortable is what we are going for today. For hair products, I'm gonna go in with the Divi Scalp Serum just to stay on top of the postpartum hair loss. And then I'm also gonna go in with the Kerastase Elixir. This is basically just like a really nice hair oil slash serum and it smells so good. Let's change into my lounge set of the day. Something that I would highly recommend if you're about to have a baby or this would make a great gift for someone who's about to have a baby that you know. Get yourself some comfy lounge sets that you can wear at home while you're snuggling with your baby and just spending like the newborn period in like cute matching sets to make you feel somewhat put together. I got a couple pairs from Gap like right before I delivered. It's like the best thing that I did. I really like the texture. I can link the ones that I got down below. I also got this really cute nude sweatsuit. I'm gonna go make the bed. <laughs> in the bathroom because I wanted to do a little postpartum update and share with you guys like how I'm healing and how I'm, how I'm feeling now that it's been almost two weeks since I delivered the baby. So the first like two days after the delivery, I was like running on adrenaline. I felt great, honestly. Like I felt amazing. For some reason, I didn't even feel like I had a baby. About the third day when my milk started coming in is whenever I started experiencing baby blues, which I had with Elena. And that's when you get like super tearful and sad, like even for no reason, I started getting upset like with seeing Elena, like how big she's getting, getting really upset that she's not a baby anymore and how like time's going by so fast. And also since I was spending so much time breastfeeding and with baby Jonah, like I felt like I wasn't spending enough time with her. And so that's like what my baby blues came out as this time, thankfully. They have, I'm pretty sure they're completely gone now because it's been like a few days since I've actually cried. <laughs> Something different that I experienced this time that I didn't with Elena is that after birth, labor pains that I felt whenever I was breastfeeding were insane. So when you're breastfeeding, your body produces oxytocin, which is like the hormone that makes your uterus contract and makes the uterus like shrink back down well the more babies you have your uterus is like more stretched out so it actually has to work harder to like shrink back to normal size it can like hurt more the more babies you have it didn't hurt me at all like after i delivered elena like i felt like no major cramping like that but this time around oh it was rough. I like really relied on this little heating pad that you put in the microwave. It was a lifesaver. But overall now I'm feeling much, much better. I think I'm ready to like start getting back into a routine and stuff like that, which is what I was hoping to do today. But to be honest, like the routine today has not been going to plan. It's already 2 p.m. I had to like stop and take another breastfeeding break. I had to eat. We've just been dealing with diaper changes and it just, things just take longer with a newborn. So these are the Fit Right Fresh Start underwear. I actually want to talk to you guys about how much I loved using these during my pregnancy. 
because I suffered with stress incontinence during my pregnancy, which is a little bit embarrassing for me to talk about, but I really want to help break the stigma around incontinence. I'm actually working with the Fit Right brand on today's video, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. But they sent over some stats on incontinence in women that I really wanted to share with you guys. Nearly two thirds of US women experience bladder leaks at some point in their lifetime, and during a first pregnancy, one in three women can expect to experience this temporary stress incontinence. Additional pregnancies increase the odds. Stress incontinence affects nearly 75% of women who gave birth two or more times. So that was definitely me during my pregnancy. I didn't really experience this much during my first pregnancy, but this time around, oh my goodness my quality of life like this is how much it really affected me i felt like i couldn't go on walks i felt like i couldn't go out in public i was literally miserable because you guys know i got sick so many times during my pregnancy i was constantly coughing and literally every single time i would cough i would leak and it was bad pads were not cutting it so you guys this brand of underwear is actually so nice because it doesn't contain any like harsh chemicals or fragrances that's something that really bothers me is whenever brands like this just use a lot of like artificial fragrances to like cover up odors this actually has arm and hammer baking soda to help eliminate odors it's really like light and stretchy and breathable and comfy and just fits really good so i hope that like me sharing my experience makes anyone else feel less alone and i will leave a link to the fit right fresh start underwear down below they actually gave me a 20 percent off coupon for amazon um so i will have these linked i just finished feeding jonah i told you guys earlier that emily was coming we were going to try to get work done but it was kind of a fail emily couldn't come because her car wasn't working i wasn't even ready for her to come over just been breastfeeding all day basically so we've been slowly trying to get back into a routine just to like get out of the funk you know yeah just of newborn of newborn stage i thought we could like sit and talk about like what it's been like with the transition to like having two kids and like yeah. what our days have been looking like and also like how elena is like adjusting to being yeah. a big sister so definitely I would say like right off the bat the transition from one to two kids for us at least has been more difficult than yes. zero to one. And a lot of my mom friends have, they warned me about that before I gave birth. The hardest part is entertaining Elena right now yeah. because she's not in school during the summer. Honestly, that's been harder than taking care of a newborn. He's easy to take care of. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it's just diff different and it's all relative. Like whenever we had Elena, I was overwhelmed with the newborn stage too. Yeah. Like it's so new it's and you're new having thing to adjust us. to that. Right. Now, like I'm good with him, but I'm still having to adjust with having a toddler and a newborn but and our sleep obviously oh, we don't need to tell you if you're a parent the first night okay well first of all you guys know Elena still sleeps in my bed with me or yeah. whatever <laughs> so we knew it was going to be a hot mess and we did not know what we were going to do when we brought the baby home our first genius idea was that we were going to all sleep in the same room yeah night one after we got home from the hospital Elena woke up when the baby woke up in the middle of the night and we were all awake at like 3 a.m oh and we were all dying so that was not going to work yeah that did not work so my idea was let me take care of the baby you know mm -hmm. and if he needs to be fed at night i can make him a bottle or whatever and let's just see how that goes so we tried that for three days or I so i think it was uh, two or three days two or three days and i was good i was chilling Lena when was I doing good up. but i was a zombie oh, I, I it was so bad i had maybe two or three hours of sleep it's not okay it was not yeah it was it was not good now we have i think we figured out our routine so yeah. omar takes the beginning of the night from like 11 to 2 ish yeah and if he needs to feed during that time omar will usually heat up pumped breast milk or right. formula or something yeah just during that time and then he gives him to me at 2 a.m and then i take care of him the rest of the night yeah, and between like two and three. Yeah, so at least we each get like a stretch of sleep. We both get little sleep. Now yeah. Instead. <laughs> yeah, we're both. We're, get, we're both getting about 
six hours of yeah, sleep. Yeah, five or six hours. And that's, that's good. not that bad if no, you're for a newborn in, stage. For a newborn stage, yeah. Yeah, so. I think we figured out a good happy medium. With yeah. That. yeah, and I'm sleeping with Elena in our bed. You can't take her out of that bed. Yeah, she needs her routine, which yeah. I didn't want to remove her from her, what she's used to. Right. So me and baby Jonah are sleeping in her playroom on the mattress. Yeah. <laughs> in there we feel like we're kind of in limbo right now since we're about yeah. to move we didn't really set up a proper nursery or anything so i mean we don't we literally don't have the space yeah we don't have it. the space yeah so elena's room is her playroom slash bedroom <laughs> slash nursery right now yeah you don't want to yeah. look in there that mm -hmm. room is a mess right it's... now we're just making do with what we have we know that this time is not gonna be something that lasts forever you know, so it goes by so quick yeah i mean it's already been two it's already weeks been two weeks he's and already gotten bigger exactly he's put on a little bit of weight with your first kid you don't really see the light at the end of the tunnel because you yeah you just you don't know you know what to expect as it so happens true. with jonah we know that a month or two and then things start to get a little bit better so yeah we're just Trying to enjoy. We're just trying to enjoy it, honestly. He looks so much like Elena that we feel like we're reliving her as a baby sometimes. Yeah, it's so funny today. We, we put, put a bow on him. <laughs> we put a bow on we, him. We, maybe we can put the picture yeah. on screen. And I told her, send this picture to your parents and tell them, look how cute Elena was or something like that. They totally bought it. They and were like, oh my god, <laughs> she was so tiny. I'm like, this is Jonah. Yeah. <laughs> my so. dad was like, Get that bow off my grandson. <laughs> SubhanAllah, he looks exactly, pretty much exactly <laughs> like his sister did. Just a couple of different features that we notice, like the eyebrows and stuff. Yeah, he has your eyebrows. He has my little the, eyebrow. The like prominent the brow. protrusion, yeah. And but, then he also has big lips. I don't know where he got that from, <laughs> but I love it. Yeah. It's so cute. Oh, and then Elena, just to give you guys update on that. We oh, did yeah. not know how she was going to react. She was so Ecstatic. excited. She like, was so excited. I yeah. think what helped so much is we've been prepping her for months. Yeah. We've been talking to her about the baby in mama's tummy. It's going to come out. And you're going to be a big sister. Yeah, and you're and... going to help mama. And... Oh. 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 What you dreaming about? <laughs> Those noises are so I know, cute. I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> mm, oh. Don't be sad. Oh no. He does the the lip. The lip. Mm, yeah, he's got that down already. Mm -hmm. So if you are pregnant with your second baby and you're trying to prep your toddler, keep talking to them about it. I, I kept talking we, to her, but I wasn't sure if she understood, like... Yeah, we weren't really sure if, like, okay, yeah, she's regurgitating, yeah. oh, baby, whatever, baby and mama's tummy or whatever, all this stuff, but... Yeah, but we, I was like, there's no way she can understand we, that. There's no way she fully understands what that means, but this but girl she understood. Did. She this did. This girl understood. She would say after he was born, and baby in mama's tummy and now baby come out or something yeah. like literally she understood something else i did is i would like practice with her baby dolls and her stuffed animals and i would say okay we're gonna feed the baby now we're gonna burp the baby yeah. now we're gonna give baby a bath and we would play like that and yeah. so now whenever i do those things with jonah she's like oh, burp the baby pat the baby like she gets it. it yeah i will say one thing though is she can get a little bit rough oh yeah i don't know if rough is the right word she's <laughs> not even three yet she so she's obviously aggression. careless yeah she's <laughs> she's careless she'll lay down next to him but then she'll accidentally she'll try to jump on top of him kind of she'll accidentally hit him with her arm or, yeah she just doesn't realize or bump his head or whatever you know we still gotta watch that girl it's just them. all good intentions though like she's just so yeah, excited it's it doesn't seem like it's jealousy or anything like that i don't think it's that she's mad at him or anything she just yeah. literally loves him so much she just wants to be like <laughs> as close to him as possible so sweet mashallah i hope you guys enjoyed this little postpartum update hopefully i'll be back to some kind of a, like a normal vlog schedule soon yeah but i love you guys so much and i will see you on my next one Bye.